Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new release preview video. Today we have 2022 Stadium Club Chrome Hobby Edition. We covered this last week with the blaster boxes just to give you a taste of what this set was all about. And these blasters have been on the shelves now for about a week. I saw them last week at Walmart. And now the hobby boxes just came out yesterday. Got my cases today. One autographed card in every sealed box. So let's go ahead and open them up and see what we can find. If you'd like to grab one of these for yourselves. Well, they are, I think they're $159 on blowout cards and Steel City collectibles right now. You might be able to get them a little cheaper if you go to your local hobby store. And they have, usually they have pretty good prices at LCSs if you have a good one. So Dellen's box is up first. So Dellen, let's see what we can find for you. In each of these boxes, there is a grand total of 14 packs with six cards per pack. You see Shohei Otani on the front of the box. And let's go ahead and show you that. I know it's, it seems like this font on these packs gets smaller and smaller all the time. But there is the no purchase necessary stuff. I don't know if that's going to be clear enough to see or not. And there's the odds as well. Kind of a little bit. <clears throat> Maybe a little bit, uh, I don't know, out of focus, but here we go with our first pack. We've got Ronald Acuna Jr. on the back, and we'll see those very nice chrome finished cards. There's a Ryan Sandberg. That's going to be a blue, which is numbered out of 199 right off the bat for Dellen, so that's a good one. We'll be featuring this product in the Saturday Showdown Box Wars tomorrow night, by the way, so if you'd like to get in on that. Those breaks are filling right now. Plenty of spots available. We have this. There's Ken Griffey Jr. I also have a couple other rounds of Series 1 Jumbos along with some other products. I think I've got 2007 Legendary Cuts in there along with maybe some 2021 Chrome. Pete Alonso right there. There's Ty Cobb sliding in and John Cruck giving the bow. The bow of, I don't even know. I think he's bowing to Randy Johnson right there after Randy Johnson struck him out in the All-Star game. We've got a green. Josh Bell, you can see the green by green if you don't see the color there. It's in that little corner, that little box above the stadium club. And that's out of 99. So one good thing about this product is there's a lot more numbered cards. Already two numbered cards. I've, I've gone over 100 packs before with a regular stadium club and not pulled a single numbered card. In some of those box wars, there's Team of the Future, Shane Boz. One autograph per box should be coming up soon. Andrew Jones just had his number 25 retired by the Atlanta Braves not too long ago, so that's pretty cool for him. His son, Drew Jones, will be the big guy to chase after. It's probably the best rookie card in 2023, Bowman, which is due out. Coming up here on uh, April 26th, another numbered card. It's Gary Sanchez, numbered to 199, 170, or 126 of 199. Greg Maddox sliding across. The tarp at Wrigley. So there's one stack done for Dellen. Let's see what else we can find here. And hopefully the autograph is going to be a good one. 400 total cards in the set. A lot of the pictures have been updated, which is pretty cool. There's a Josh Winder, which is a refractor. It's not numbered in case you're wondering if the refractors are numbered. A lot of times auto refractors will be numbered, but not regular base refractors. Andre Jackson. David Wright, Team of the Future, Kyle Tucker right there. There's Mike Schmidt, Hall of Famer Mike Schmidt. Kyle Ripken, another Hall of Famer and a future Hall of Famer there in Clayton Kershaw. Here's the next one. We've got Kyle Rowley, really nice. A nice young rookie catcher. One nice thing about all this stuff coming out here late, 2022 still coming out. Here it is April of 2023, is you get a chance to keep going after J-Rod rookies. This Mike Trout might be number to 99. It is. Very cool right there. Trophy Hunter's insert card. The Trophy Hunter insert card pays homage to the 1995 Trophy Hunter's insert set, which is kind of cool. So already four numbered cards, and we've only opened 10 packs. That's a pretty darn good ratio of getting numbered cards. Still looking for the autograph, though, so where's that at? Well, it's going to be one of these final few packs. And let's hope it's a good one. Got Blake Snell, another Trophy Hunters card. And there it is. It's Juan Yepes, rookie refractor auto for Dellen. It's on card as well. It's a nice looking card right there. Checking out the back. It's not numbered. But that's the first auto. We'll have two more autographs coming up. We're going to do three boxes in this preview video. 
to show you what this product is all about, just in case you want to go out and grab one of these this week. There's Walker Bueller, Beam Team Card, Kevin Gossman, and Drew Ellis. Kevin Gossman from the Blue Jays, who were my pick to win the World Series this year. I got burned by that pick a couple years ago, but I feel like I'm going to go out on that limb again. Dio Castillo, Refractor, Jeff Bagwell, and Ronzi Contreras. So a couple Pirates in that one. And here is this last one. Pirates opening day coming up tomorrow. And man, do I ever feel dumb. Could have bought tickets for opening day. I think they were, they were $50 a piece on the Pirates website a few weeks ago before it sold out. Now, oh, like almost $200 a piece. It's, it is the hottest ticket in town. And I really wish I would have grabbed a bunch. Maybe gone to the game and sold a couple extras. I used to buy extra tickets and sell them years and years ago. But I just uh, haven't been able to do that recently. But anyway, Adam's up next. Spot number two, the next box. Pirates will be playing the White Sox during opening day. So uh, I don't know. It would, would have been cool to go see Luis Robert, who... I've never seen Luis Robert play in person. He's been up in the league now for a few years. He was one of my top five favorite players, you might recall, a couple years ago. I still like him, but, uh, man, he's not had quite the success that I would have hoped because of injuries. So Adam's up next, and then we're going to go with a super rip style here with Adam's box and see what we can find in each of these stacks. We'll start to see some repeats too long we were I think what do we do in the uh the retail review I opened I think 10 blaster boxes of this product and this product will be featured in the April boxes for Patreon the $51 tier gets a blaster box and I think I also was mistaken on the price in the retail review I think they're actually $30 a box not $25.99 we got Spencer Torkelson rookie right there Adrian Martinez. There's a Trophy Hunters Vladdy card right there. I did see one card with a white stock. You can see that right there, that strip. That's either going to be the autograph or a numbered card. A lot of times the numbered cards will look like that. We know that from the Allen and Ginter Chrome. So I would bet you it's going to be a numbered card. So one numbered card potentially in this stack. We'll find out. There's Jazz Chisholm. Frankie Montas. He's the Face of MLB, not Montas, but the face of MLB, the show, Jazz Chisholm. I've still yet to play that game. There's the J-Rod base rookie card for Adam, so congrats on that one. We'll get that one sleeved up. we got Merrill Kelly, who pitched for Team USA and Beam Team Juan Soto. Eli Morgan. I bet you we pull a... There's these two. Eli Morgan and Sammy Long have been finding a lot of their autographs recently. I wouldn't be surprised if in this video... The one of the final two autographs were either Sammy Morgan or Eli or uh, Eli. Man, I'm getting so confused. Sammy Long or Eli Morgan. The last two autos were one of the last two. I bet you. Let's see. There's Doc Gooden. That is the numbered card that we saw coming down the pike. It's a blue. It's numbered to 199. By the way, we have a big auction tonight as well. There's Aaron Judge calling for a ball. It's going to be consignment. Just came in. I wasn't even expecting it. I like that picture of Kyle Muller. Showed up at the post office when I went by at, uh, I don't know, late this afternoon. Big old box from Bo Naylor. So he's he, he auctioned his stuff before he's got great stuff. So we'll probably go live with that right after I get the kiddos to bed, which hopefully is around like 8.30 p.m. tonight. Probably be a few hours at least. So stop on by and see if you see something you like. Bid on it. Or if you don't want to bid, you can still just watch and see. See what we've got to offer. All right, Adam, let's finish off the box. The autograph is still out there somewhere. It should be coming up very, very soon. There's three numbered cards, I can tell you that. So it seems like so far the average is about three numbered cards. We have Jake Berger, rookie auto as our next auto. It is not numbered. So auto number two, Jake Berger, Juan Yepes and Berger. And we'll see who that last one is in that third and final preview box. Let's go through these. And see what those other couple numbered cards are going to be. There's Jacob DeGrom now on the Texas Rangers. Jared Kelnick tossing the bat away. Luis Severino, Refractor, Beam Team Tatis. He'll be back before you know it. Fernando Tatis, we'll see if he can redeem himself in the eyes of the Padres fans. And we've got a blue. The blue is going to be George Springer. George Springer celebrating a double or something there. This is going to be numbered to 199. 
And I think that's it for the numbered cards. Francisco Morales, rookie card right there. There's Xander Bogarts, Lorenzo Kane. There's Devers, Raphael Devers, looking down at the pesky pole. Hunter Green, rookie card, and Mackenzie Gore. So we've got one shot left at an auto. And if we don't find a great auto here, hopefully we have some big ones in our Saturday Night Box Wars. I also have this in the Team Break Tuesdays coming up. So if you like Allen and Ginter Crumb, there'll be plenty of opportunities to get in on either a Box Wars or a random Team Break. Michelle Clark's got the last box here on this Thursday night. Easter right around the corner. I'm off school now on spring break for a few days. Which will be nice. Have some time to spend with the family. Sort some cards. Ship some packages. Make some videos. And I think tomorrow we're doing a big Easter egg hunt. We always do a an annual Easter egg hunt here in the backyard. Typically we hide around 200 eggs filled with candy with some redemption so that'll be fun we'll probably do that tomorrow hopefully tomorrow weather permitting it's kind of rainy here today all right michelle let's see what we've got in your stack one more autograph in here looks like two numbered cards or two some sort of parallels coming up probably numbered cards could also be an auto there's pedro martinez with the world series trophy that Rob Manfred once called just a hunk of metal, which I'm sure he'd like to take those words back. And there it is, the final autograph. It's a really good player there in George Kirby. George Kirby, great young pitcher. I was actually hoping there was a whole bunch of Brian Reynolds trade talk that the Pirates would have traded him to the Mariners and got George Kirby back as part of that package. Maybe also take it on Jared Kelnick. Willie Stargell Blue, number to 199. That'll be it for the numbered cards in this stack. Going to kind of get a little heads up by the the white card stock on those. There's Griffey Jr. blowing a bubble out there in the outfield. Where's that picture taken at, you think? I bet you that's taken at Camden Yards. Out in center field at Camden Yards. Let's see. There's Mike Trout. And Akil Badu is the last one. So down the last stack here in this preview, preview video for Michelle... No more autographs to be found. It'd be nice if they screwed up and gave us an extra like they did earlier today in the Throwback Thursday video. Gave us an extra hit. It was only supposed to get one. We got two. That's always nice when that happens. We'll check out what Michelle has going on here. I would suspect you're probably going to have maybe three more numbered cards. It'd be really nice to get a J-Rod parallel. Let's see. I see just one. Just one right there. So this box, a little light on the numbered cards. We got a beam team right there. That beam team is not numbered. It is a nice, looks like maybe a red. And there's Miguel Cabrera, who will be in his last season this year. Joe Morgan. Bo Jackson, always like that picture. Him and Ronald Reagan shaking hands. There's Curtis Terry, Gavin Sheets. And there's Nolan Ryan. Kind of a boring picture of Nolan Ryan. Just kind of sitting there. Usually I'm used to seeing him throwing the ball 100 miles out or something like that. Trophy Hunters, David Ortiz. There's Showtime, Shoei Otani warming up in the bullpen. I would suspect that picture is taken Yankee Stadium bullpen. Am I wrong? Maybe. Just kind of on a kick of picking out the background pictures. There's Colton Wong ready to ring the bell at Arby's. I don't know if you eat at Arby's or not, but every now and then I'll take the kiddos there. They love ringing that bell. Shows that you got good service. Richie Palacios to be an orange out of 25, I think. Yep, two of 25. So that's the lowest numbered card so far. The orange. And we'll wrap this preview video up with Aaron Hicks as the final card. So Michelle, Adam, and Dylan, thank you very much. There you have it. That is Stadium Club Chrome. Hobby Box, one autograph, few numbered cards. And you get some other nice stuff in there as well. So, folks, thanks for watching. I'm going to go get ready for the auction now. And I'll see you in the auction in a little bit. Good night, everybody.